say about this event is very timely because a new government just came into into being uh, at the federal level in particular. And you know, uh, the Renew Hope agenda is all about the administration of uh, Ashwa Jibala and Chilu. So when you are bringing in stakeholders, they're like, you know, going to be talking and rubbing minds about the good governance and what is the expectation of the people. Because at the end of the day, what I'm what matters most about democracy is the people. So and what impact are you making you know, to affect their life positively? And that's the trajectory this government has set in motion. And that's why uh, this kind of seminar workshop that we just had, you know, a kind of uh, high opener for a lot of people. And he, he actually imbibed in us what we need to do as citizens, what we need to do as corporate, I mean, I mean as stakeholders, both corporate and individual at our various level to contribute meaningfully, you know, to the achievement of the democratic goals and particularly the renewal agenda of President Bola Hamid, you know. It's not surprising that uh, President Bola Hamid, uh, Bola Hamid you know, eventually won the 2023 uh, election, presidential election, because of all the contenders, no one, I, I mean no one, I'm emphasizing no one can match the track record of what the man has built in terms of uh, uh, performances while in office and even the track record of what he was able to achieve, you know, building network around himself progressively across the country, even beyond uh, Nigeria, to have gotten to this stage where we are today. So uh, we know, we trust, and we believe in the man, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to deliver the goods for the greater number of Nigerians. And learning from someone like him, what would we think we can emulate? We can emulate smartness. We can emanate hard work, we can emanate honesty, and we can emanate building legacies for the future. That is all about Bola and Etunumu. But the prime of all this is loyalty. To every cost, he is serving or he is pursuing. He is always loyal 100%. Tell Ash Ashwajo anything about uh, loyalty, it's all my job. He will discuss with you, and we will also show you the way as a leader. So the leadership of Bola Ahmed Tinubu as the president of Nigeria uh, will no doubt erode a new progressive and prosperous development for Nigeria. Today's meeting in fact, uh, is one of its kind because uh, it opened our eyes in the areas of uh, good governance. You know, and that is what is affecting us in Nigeria today, the issue of good governance. You know, when there's no good governance, you know, we tend to, you know, have issues. So, with the, with the meeting of today, it has opened our eyes in the areas of good governance. That is to say, wherever you find yourself, make sure you do the right thing. Stand on the right thing. And uh, that will uh, make the society even good. And that will start from you as an individual. With what I have gained, I'm going to as well organize a similar, maybe in-house or on-job training on my colleagues, my staff, um, on the importance of good government and to stand on doing the right thing wherever you find yourself, in the office, even without, outside the office stand to do the right thing and that will you know better up our society. Maybe more seeing people in the government that some of the changes and we have learned here. But I think in this uh, in our little way this is a contribution to national development so it's encouraging. I hope more of this will happen in the future. Not entirely, yeah, because the level, the literacy level for ICT in Nigeria is very low, still low. So, so we, we should be able to pick and choose. Like, for example, some organizations are really, really uh, impact on using ICT. Uh, so, maybe gradually, time to time, we cannot do it. Uh, 
They are talking about how to ensure good governance. So yesterday we had two lectures, today one. The three of them did wonderfully well because they were able you know, to identify problems inherent in, the, in our governance and they provide good solutions. So they did very well. If all the solutions are you know, take into all these arts, practice. I think it will make a difference in the way our country is being managed. And obviously, everybody knows what is happening. You can see in West Africa now. Look at Gabon. You see what is happening there. Look at Niger. Let me not measure other West African countries that are being invaded by military regime. So, uh, you, not, we cannot over, I don't know how to put it. It is very important that we have good governance and its dividends now. We need it critically in Nigeria. Okay, to, so that we will not be affected to, in a way by what is happening currently in other West African countries. It's important because wherever we find ourselves is good with projects that image of good governance, you know. The, Everyone, in every bit, in every form, in every office you form, you find yourself project good governance. You still need you know, from home because the say charity begins from home. You know, like the like the resource person we had today said that this message he is even giving is not even meant for adults. That we should you know start it from the kindergarten, from children, so that as they grow up. You know, they will, they will have that orientation of what is, they can differentiate between what is bad and good. And as they grow up into adulthood, you know, they will now have that spirit of implementing what is good instead of bad.